the heart of it all. It shouldn't stay in anything that's bad. But you and I have a, a really solid, good relationship, or we're willing to like get yeah, we do. The grave. <laughs> I, I, I would never. I would never. I well, I don't think. I I I I I, I could never uh, stray from fidelity, but. I don't know how much I get to pat myself on the back for that because I just don't think it's just not in my blood. I think that there are other people who are in love with each other, and sometimes they have like I, I don't know. It's harder for them. Like, I, I I just know that from observing people. Like, right? I, I know. Well, I, I, I never you... do anything that's that difficult. Like, right. I never like like I, I won't stop playing a video game to make you feel better. Like like, like so, but I know I would never cheat. I don't on know you. what are the circumstances that would make that. <laughs> <laughs> that would make me feel better if you stopped playing video games. No, I'm just saying, like, I, you know, I'm a pretty selfish guy. I'm like a baby, and I'm not proud of that, and I don't think that I'm allowed to be that. What I'm saying is that I don't do difficult things just to keep our relationship going. I would do anything to keep it going, but I'm pretty bad at it. I'm pretty flawed. I'm pretty, like, pretty bad at, at remembering in moments of selfishness that something that I want is, isn't as important as making you happy. Well, I think we're both very flawed, but I think the good thing about our relationship is that we are ourselves all the time. So the flaws aren't ever deal breakers. Like, it's always a, well, you, you do, you're doing this shitty thing. Like, I'm very messy in hotel rooms, for example. Yes. <laughs> it's like the moment we go into the hotel room, the entire room floor like, gets carpeted with it's kind of a chiffon. And you, guys, like, <laughs> you guys are amazing. I, I, I've, I've traveled with you enough. You, we can get to a hotel anywhere in the world. <laughs> They will get. They will check in. Beautiful hotel room. I can knock on their, you guys' door ten seconds after you got in there, and yeah. you, there's not a bit of fl uh, floor that is not yeah. covered in, in luggage She's and a, clothing. It's, it's me. It's me. It's kind of like, like it's, it's not my parents' house. Right. <laughs> Clothes it's, everywhere. It's sort of like it's it's sort of like it being in a relationship with Jumanji. Like, <laughs> like, like there's just all of a sudden just elephants and monkeys like, like everywhere. Yeah. But the understanding with our relationship is. Uh, either you accept that I'm weird in hotel rooms, and you can, and I'll try to clean up if you ask me to clean up. You never do, but if I, if you did, I would. But the the idea is, well, that's a flaw of yours, and I yeah. accept that. So let's move forward. The thing is, like your flaws, I accept other flaws and lots of relationships I haven't accepted. Aaron, like have, lameness. I'm sorry to interrupt. Have, have you seen uh, the cut or the the, the the final cut of the film? Not the final cut, but, but like a recent close cut. Close to it. Uh, close to yeah, it. No. Yeah, and what do you what, what do you think? Do, how do you think? Like Dan said, he doesn't feel like the relationship comes off looking all that like a a, a um, real poster for relationships. Well, I mean, it's a it's it's not the best month in the uh, <laughs> history of our relationship, and Dan can tell you I've gone through a lot of. I mean, I I, I was really torn up about it because with our engagement and everything, I was bummed out that. Our relationship wasn't super, doesn't look so super cool in the in the movie. But um, it's, uh, I mean, it's honest. It's everything that happened. I wish there were more moments with me smiling. Yeah, I um, wish I, I learned my big lesson from having a documentary made about me. That from now on, whenever I do dry humor, I'm always going to end it with bursting into laughter and kissing someone on the forehead and saying, I love you! <laughs> because that's definitely what's missing. <laughs> yeah. I, I know, I, I, I had a lot more fun on tour than is showed in the movie. Like, I was having a good time, and, but it's... There's you know, literally a moment in the Neil. movie where you're you're actually just asking me to say I love you, and I won't do it because I think it's funny, uh, and uh, it doesn't seem yeah. funny. But I, and I look obnoxious. I, I think you put it very well when you said it shows your relationship not at its best, not at its worst. It to, it's this middle ground of what it's like. It's yeah. Uh, it I does. mean, the, the truth is, we got in a we got in a really bad fight early on, and it was never really. Resolved, and with my personality, and maybe this is me being a woman, or maybe it's just me being Aaron. But I, I wanted to talk stuff out. We didn't get to talk stuff out because you were like, "Can we just like let's just have fun? Like, can we deal with this later?" But to me, it wasn't that big of a deal. But because we didn't talk to it, I felt talk about it. I felt yeah, weird I, and uh, I, I like you were rude I, I, to me. I have like this. I have like this like, like this programming in me about relationships where. I th I just because of observing my mom and my dad, I'm not using it as an excuse of saying this is my big flaw. Is like I, 
my my gender roles are based on like the guy coming home and being and trying to prove that there's nothing to get worked up about and the, and that the woman is going like there is a reason to get worked up we should be a, it ha, you know you should be apologizing and you should be doing something and that the guy is supposed to go no there isn't be quiet <laughs> and I, that, that like I, and i i it's that is the source of like all of our difficulty is like, I, i'm I always think, trying to avoid a fight and i i right. end up pausing them i think i think during the tour especially and in real life and like in normal life you're you're very conscious of being a bad boyfriend or you're very worried that you're a bad boyfriend And most of the time when you say that I don't think that you're being a bad boyfriend and I think on the tour you were so worried that you were going to be a bad boyfriend whenever I would say anything like positive or negative you'd be like okay come on Do that later, and I'd be like, "What the fuck?" Like, I just no one cares there, about this. Out. Yeah, and I, but it would be about things that were positive or negative, or just like hanging out. And I, I very much wanted to be one of the guys hanging right. out, but I think that I would kept on being but, put in the position by you of like, "Come on, Aaron, don't start anything." But I wasn't, so then I got really sad and it felt lonely and weird. But I had a great time. All right, so um, 